Welcome to the Classical Guitar Disc. My name is Max, and I'll be your personal tutor and guide. My job is to help you learn and use the musical information on this disc. You'll notice that there are four main buildings, each with its own special musical topics. In the guitar shop, you'll find basic guitar information and lesson exercises. In the museum, there are vintage guitars that you can learn about and examine. In the concert hall, you can create and play your own concert. And in the library, you'll find music and guitar resources, which are a complete set of reference materials that you can use anytime. If you've never played the guitar before, I suggest going to getting started in the guitar shop. Now you're in control. So have fun exploring classical guitar. It's natural that you'll want to play all of these duets, but take your time and pay attention to the musical levels. Green stands for basics. These lessons, exercises, and duets have been geared for the beginner, with the only prerequisite being a tour of getting started. Blue level duets will present more of a challenge. Black level duets are geared for players who are comfortable with reading and have all of the basics of good technique. Edgar Munch was one of a handful of influential builders of handcrafted concert classical guitars. Trained as a violin builder, Munch began building in Munich during the 1930s. He was a friend of Hermann Hauser, one of the world's finest luthiers, and they exchanged many theories and ideas concerning guitar construction. Munch guitars, while small and light by standards of many modern instruments, were surprisingly loud. His use of a dovetail neck joint while common among many acoustic steel string builders, such as C.F. Martin, is unusual for classical guitars. This Edgar Munch guitar, once played by Julian Bream, is a fine example of his art. It is elegant and visually clean, with wonderful clarity.
A nylon string guitar is a lightly constructed instrument intended to be played with the fingers. Nylon strings require less bracing at the top of the guitar, allowing it to respond quickly and easily to the touch of a finger. A wider fingerboard allows the strings to be spaced far enough apart to accommodate the fingers of the left hand. A steel string guitar is designed to be played with a pick, which is generally more agile than fingers alone. The strings are closer together, which facilitates the playing of chords and rapid single note passages. Steel string guitars come in many shapes and sizes, with round holes, F holes like a violin, pickups, cutaways, and thin or solid bodies. Each has a characteristic sound and touch. The position in which the guitar is held will greatly influence the player's tone and execution. Classical guitars are held on the player's left leg. The left foot rests on a footstool which should be adjustable. This position has the effect of raising the headstock to the level of the player's eyes, allowing the instrument to be supported without the use of the hands. A higher headstock allows the player easy access to both ends of the fingerboard with little strain. This allows the left hand to operate very efficiently. In guitar notation, the left hand fingers are indicated by the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1 indicates the index finger, 2 indicates the middle finger, 3 indicates the ring finger, and 4 indicates the small finger. The player's right forearm should cross the upper bout of the guitar at a point just above the bridge. The hand should hang naturally over the back part of the hole. The right shoulder and upper arm should be completely relaxed. The right hand fingers are indicated by the letters P, I, M, A, C. The letter P stands for thumb, I stands for index finger, M stands for middle finger, and A stands for the ring finger. C is the small finger which is primarily used in flamenco style technique. Two different attacks are used when playing the classical guitar. The rest stroke, or apoyando, is used to play melodic passages and scales. The tirando, or free stroke, is used to play passages containing repeated arpeggios. Often you will use the apoyando and tirando together. The apoyando, or rest stroke, is performed by stroking the finger past the string being played and allowing it to come to rest against the next string below. This attack is very strong and allows a great deal of expression. A guitar is divided into three basic sections, head, neck, and body. The head or headstock contains the tuning machines. Nylon string guitar headstocks are very different from steel string headstocks. The steel string headstock is flat. There are six holes drilled through for the tuning machines. The nylon string guitar has two large slots cut into the headstock with holes for the six tuners drilled through the sides. The neck of the guitar contains the fingerboard on which the fret bars have been installed. The space between the fret bars is called the fret. If the fingerboard of your guitar is not completely flat, you should bring it to a qualified guitar repair shop. A warped fingerboard will make everything you do much more difficult. The body has a top, rim, and back. The curved sections are referred to as bouts. Guitars have either a round hole two F-shaped holes cut into the top, or are solid throughout. Below the sound hole on top of the nylon string guitar is a tie bridge. The strings are attached to this bridge with knots. Acoustic steel string guitars use a pin bridge to which the strings are attached with a pin through the bridge. Electric steel string guitars use a variety of bridge configurations which are easy to understand once you've examined them.